Okay, we're going to talk about using the Easy IO to get IV access on your patients. If you remember in the ACLS guidelines, um, the recommendation is that you attempt IV placement, peripheral IV placement twice, and if you are unsuccessful for whatever reason, the recommendation is that the next step is a placement of an IO line or an intraosseous line. In our emergency department, we have the Easy IO kit. And when you open the kit, it will have a drill, it will have a needle, and the equipment to attach your line to an IV. The IO can be placed in adults and in children. It can be placed in several different areas of the long bone. Most commonly, we use the proximal tibia. You can use the distal tibia. You may also use the proximal humerus. And you just want to find the flat portion of the bone. There are different size needles depending on if you are using a, a pediatric patient, an adult patient, or an obese patient. And this is the standard size needle for an adult patient. You have your drill, and you want to make sure that your drill is functioning. You place the needle on the drill, and it attaches by a magnetic mechanism. Then you remove this, and you see that you have a sharp needle at the end. Prior to inserting the IO, you will use betadine or alcohol over the skin. And in this model, we're going to use, you know, make sure you hold the bone fairly secure. You're going to place the IO drill, and you're going to hold steady pressure with the drill on. As you advance the needle, you will feel a slight give, and that's how you'll know the needle is secure in the bone marrow. At that point that your IO needle is secure, you will remove your drill and you will unscrew the top cap. You may attach a syringe to the top and aspirate as a way to check that you're in the bone marrow and that your needle is properly placed may also attach this to a IV setup which is included in the kit and then you may use this to run fluids or to draw blood or to, to draw bone marrow or to give medications.